So look who is back. Okay, let me tell you the story. This guy, I think me and my brother established like three or two months ago. Uh, he came to our house and he stayed with us for two weeks. And we try to search for the owner and look for everybody. Anyway, I was like, you know what? I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this mess. Sending him to the shelter. Don't worry. It was the no-kill shelter. So, it was all cool. I named him. I don't know what it, I named him. Buster, Dodgy, Shadow. One of these. Something black. Yes. Racism. But anyway. <laughs> but anyway, it's just like, she sent him to the no-kill shelter. Anyway, she came back. She was like, oh yeah, the owner came. They um, they called. They came, they came and got him. Because, uh, because he was missing and everything. And she sent him all the way over, like, <laughs> she sent him all the way, like, a town over or whatever, over Delaney. I'm just like, Jesus. So that's where she went uh, to put him in. But anyway, here we go. Three months later, as for today, because today is May, he came back today with a leash on him. And he escaped again. This is the same dog. This is the same dog. Three months today. This is the same dog that came back. He has no, uh, uh, what's it called? He has no tags on. So we probably have to send him back to the same shelter that mom sent him. Because he has no tags, as you see. He just had a leash on. And it looks like, it looks like the, either the owner tied him, tied him up. This is a guy. I'll let tied him up and didn't do a very good job or something's going on in that house and this dog keeps coming back for a reason. It's just like, nah, yeah, I like y'all. Y'all cool. My owner back home, he try to, he try to feed me cat food and, and crap like that. I don't, I don't mess with that. He try to, he try to pet me in my, in my nads. I don't like that. I like it when you pet my stomach. Mm -hmm. Rebel, real good. Anyway. <laughs> oh my God. I haven't made a video in a while because I've been busy. Oh yeah, that's right. I have a life, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm trying not to have a life, but it's hard not to when so much of life is going on. As you can see, as you see, wait. As you see, that's my laptop with that pink baseball bat. As you see, <clears throat> that is not working. But because, because I am, that's right, because I am. What am I? What am I? I'm a woman. <laughs> because I have swag. I got a job and everything. And I got money in my account. I'm going to get myself a freaking laptop soon. So I'll update you guys on that. I'll probably make a video on that. Be like, oh my god. I got a laptop. <laughs> but don't worry. We'll still have fun. We'll still have fun. <sighs> god. But how are you guys doing? How are you doing? Other than this dude chilling. Look at him. Chilling. Chilling. Look at him. He loves it. Spoiled brat. Anyway. <laughs> how you guys doing? I hope you're doing fine. I hope your day's going well. Your week. Your month. Your year. I hope everything's well. This is my room. I'm not going to show her my room because it's messy. And it's so small. But I do have a cat photo. <laughs> oh, my fingers. <laughs> You see that cat? I'm not sure if you can see it because my video is grimy. I wonder if I can wipe you guys. Wait, does that make it better? Where are you going? Who told you to go? All right, I wanted to show you around the room. You just you just sell this sack of clothes. Yeah, that's all right. They're clean. I don't care. I don't care what anybody says about my freaking room right now. I got my I got my stuffed animal here, Mr. Moo Cow. Tell the audience that they should have a wonderful weekend and that everything will be okay. Run. Run. She's crazy. She has locked up. You don't know what she does, man. You don't know what she does. Just run.